Hello, this is how to make the perfect cup of tea. Fill the kettle with cold water from the tap, bring the water in the kettle to a full boil. Pour a little of the boiling water into the teapot to warm it. Swirl the boiled water around inside the pot for a few seconds until evenly warmed. Once the pot is evenly warmed, pour out the boiled water. For a standard sized teapot, add three teaspoons of your preferred black tea. Add one extra spoonful of tea as one for the pot. This makes a total of four teaspoons of tea. Bring the kettle back to a full boil. Pour the boiling water from the kettle into the teapot. Fill to just below the brim. Stir once in the direction of your choosing. Let stand for a minimum of two minutes. Add a little milk into the bottom of each cup before pouring the tea. Stir the tea in the pot again. Stir two or three times. Put on the teapot lid and let settle for a few seconds. Pour into a cup using a tea strainer. Offer sugar to any who might desire it and then enjoy with friends or in quiet contemplation. Of course, all this reminds me of Great Aunt Monica. For many years, she was the tea lady at Sandiford's Fabrics in the English town of Ubridge. She used to roll her tea trolley along the executive floor. Aunt Monica considered working on any other floor to be beneath her station in life. When it came to serving tea from her trolley, Monica was the ultimate snob. She was also something of a startling beauty. And there are those that said that all this trolley business was just a ploy to marry an eligible someone of the right tea-drinking status. And there was always quite a line for milk and two sugars, please. But Great Aunt Monica was actually more than happily married. In fact, her husband George was quite the big cheese at the rival company Allied Textiles. They didn't have tea ladies at Allied. They considered themselves quite modern by having the very latest vending machines providing both tea and coffee. But it wasn't for the lack of tea serving opportunities at Allied that saw great Aunt Monica push a tea trolley on the executive floors of their rival. Aunt Monica had worked in the intelligence gathering services of the British Army during the Second World War. It was on account of her being possessed of a photographic memory that made her valuable as a spy. Great Aunt Monica was now putting those same skills to work by getting all the young and excitable professionals to show her the latest fabric designs and the plans for the ingenious and quite secret machine presses that would print them. 